Do yeah. people around you take it seriously? Family and friends? Well, <laughs> my, my family didn't know. I didn't tell them for like, uh, like until I started making money, uh, I hadn't told them I quit my job. So like I worked at a place called Kentucky Lighting and Supply. If you right. ever need some electrical equipment or, uh, you know, fixtures or stuff like that, you should right. check them out. It's okay. a nice place. Uh, and, uh, and, then, and then I eventually quit because I was like, I'm, you know, I, I was working until two or three in the morning making comics and then I'd wake up at eight because I had to be at work at eight right. and then go to, the, go to work like 15 minutes late because I actually lived right, right down the street. Uh, and just do a horrible job all day long and then go home and work again and it was it was pretty tough So I decided you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna quit and I'm gonna make a go at this and I was going Massively in debt like funding everything on credit cards and I didn't want to tell my parents like oh Yeah, so I'm quitting my job and I'm doing this comic thing and it's probably not gonna work out And I'm racking up crazy amounts of debt. <laughs> it was like I had gone to college without actually going to college like I, I had like college level debt when I, was, when I, when I actually started making money uh, I just didn't want them to worry. And so my mother called Kentucky Lighting one time, and they were like, yeah, he doesn't work here. He hasn't worked here for almost a year. And so then she thought I had been fired and didn't want to tell him, so she called me and was like, what happened? Why, I, I, you don't work there anymore? Like, what's going on? Is your mother Jerry Seinfeld? That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. that was great. That, that was actually what my mother sounds like. Is that what Jerry Seinfeld? Um, and then I actually showed up one day in Florida with a long box of comics. And I was like, I've been lying to you for a while. I just didn't want you to worry. This is what I've been doing. Here's all these comics. So it's almost like you had to, like you had to come out to your parents. It was like an it, it gets, a little bit. It's an It Gets Better campaign. Here's my. Yeah. Well, my dad was a small business owner, yeah. you know, and I, I knew that he would worry too much about me and that they would gripe at me. And I didn't want to get griped at. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I tried to preserve them from that. So you know. what do you make of the Talking Dead, man? So, I mean, Talking <laughs> Dead gets more viewers than most other shows actually get. It's incredible. If, if a pot smoker from another dimension had come in and told me, hey, you know, there's going to be a talk show about this uh, show that's made of your comic, right. I'd be like, dude, you are on pot. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some or go away. Is what you would have. <laughs> I don't touch that stuff. <clears throat> <laughs> what a pleasure. Thanks, Thank brother. You. Robert Kirkman, everybody.